See, it's just gone 20 past three. Now, I did promise we'd be talking about a film. That's very exciting. You know, many parts of this uh, area have been used in films over the years. I mean, Puzzlewood, that turned up in films. Forest of Dean, Puzzlewood. Uh, Gloucester Cathedral's been in Harry Potter. We've had Laycock in movies, Devizes, Oldbourne. But now, parts of Corsham have been put on the map in an award-winning short film. Richard Baisley is a director from Box, shot the footage back in 2022 for a movie called Confines, and he picked up several prizes at the I Am Film Festival in London. That was just before Christmas. And I'm pleased to say Richard is on with me this afternoon. Richard, hi, thank you for, for joining us. Hi, it's wonderful to be on your show. Yeah. So, first of all, let's, let's talk about um, the film. What's it about? Absolutely. Well, um, it's interesting because we were on a budget. Um, we have to think about the number of locations and, uh, and making it affordable. Um, and I'd seen The Blind House numerous times over the years, and sometimes it's open to the, the public. It's a, a small building next to the pub here in Box where they used to lock up uh, drunks and criminals. So um, I, I had a look in there and I thought, well, this would be a really interesting spot for a monologue for a character to be there and the idea is that he's beating himself up and he's a prisoner of his own mind and he can't escape um so we have all these visual metaphors because otherwise if it's just him in a box all the time it's a bit boring so we've all these visual metaphors um for his inner thoughts we cut away to other locations like Corsham court or Corsham was hit um where they actually shot Barry Lyndon up there as well, um, a Stanley Kubrick film. Um, and as you mentioned before, um, you know, they film, we've got so many amazing locations here, uh, Lake Up with Harry Potter and Castle Coombe, um, with uh, War Horse. Um, it's just incredible. So, uh, how long is the film? Yeah, the film is just under 20 minutes. Um, that way you can qualify it for a lot of um, caught up awards. Um, quite often there's a limit. Our previous film was Censure was 40 minutes and we were told it wouldn't get picked up anywhere because it's too long but it, it won over 40 awards so uh -huh. it just shows you so um and if it, it was off the back of that film Luke, Luke De Jang um I say uh, was in Holby City and uh, London's Burning he saw it and said let's make a film together and we knocked around some ideas and I, I work with I'm very lucky to have a very talented writer called Neil Basson who's uh, based in Cornwall and I, I'm more of an ideas man and I bounce the ideas and he formulates it into a fabulous script so he's written the script for both of my last films I always wonder how difficult it is to get really well-known actors to get involved in short films because you know they don't get as much attention as, uh, no. as the ones that go into theatres but, but judging by what you were saying you know people want to be in these oh if it's quality if it's a quality piece um i mean uh for censure uh this is it was incredible i got uh, tom conti to be in my previous film censure wow. um he was i had him um I wanted him to be in a feature project, and features take so long to raise the money, there's so many hurdles you have to overcome, and um, I said to Tom, uh, well, I've got this tiny little film, um, and he was doing Opp Oppenheimer, either just before or just after it, and, you know, he's got um, not a huge role, but it's a key role in that in that film, and I'm sure he got huge, a huge sum of money, so obviously for our film he didn't, <laughs> Um, but he did it also as a kind of a favour to me. So um, a, a huge shout out to Tom Conti, uh, not only an incredible actor, but uh, an absolute gentleman. He is brilliant, isn't he, Tom Conti? Is. I mean, uh, how do you know the? How do you bump well, into these people, Richard? Well, well, I'm not a young man anymore, but you know, I'm, <laughs> um, but over the years, um, you know, I've, I've networked and uh, and. Um, you know, obviously when I lived in, it's a whole other show, I lived in LA for seven years and went back and forth for 20 years because I was an, I'm an ex-Disney animator. So you get to meet a lot of uh, top actors who are doing voice recordings. Um, yeah, I met all sorts of people when I was over there. Some of good, you know, friends with Howard Kazanjian, who's helping me. Uh, he produced Raiders of the Lost Ark. And Mario Kazar who produced Basic Instinct and Terminator. And both these guys have given me great letters of reference uh, towards my feature projects. So I'm hugely lucky. Um, and you have to hustle a bit as well, you know. So it's part of, you know, you've got to have an ability and talent, but the rest of it is really, uh, you know, putting yourself out there as well. What an amazing story. We need, we need to get him back uh, on again to get more information. Yeah, absolutely. About. <laughs> I'd love to. Uh, well, what, mention some of the films then that you worked on when you were an animator. 
Oh, oh, oh um, I was a lead animator on Hercules, um, animated on John Smith, um, and um, after that I went to Warner Brothers and I uh, worked on the Iron Giant. But I say that's that's a whole other show. <laughs> wow, we've got so, we've got to get you back, so, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll be here here now to plug the film uh, confines. So yeah. 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 Do, yeah. Do you um? I mean, do you have ambitions to to make full length features? Oh yes, yeah. I've got lots of projects, and that was part of the reason um, during lockdown I had an idea uh, that we could do. Um, uh, cheaply um, and have all these voices off screen because I got fed up with waiting for the feature projects to happen because they take a long time. Um, I've you know I've got another one with uh, sadly Gary Kurtz passed away a few years ago but we were partners in a, a business and he produced Star Wars and Dark Crystal and we were working on that project for over 10 years so um, that's now doing the circuit in the States uh, and there's interest but it takes takes time so I said to uh, a friend of mine uh, John Fry a spectacular uh, DOP uh, only doing corporate work but he has all the kit and he's got the eye and I said uh, let's, let's just go and make a film let's just do it um, so we did we didn't have much money um, but we all decided to chip in and do what we could uh, and uh, we were actually amazed at the results because Censure our previous film is playing um, in Beverly Hills at the Fine Arts Theatre on the 28th um, because it won uh, uh, two awards uh, Best Film and Best Director at the Venice Shorts in LA and as part of that um, because it won that it's going to be screened in the theatre on that date in Los Angeles so pretty pleased by that this is that's fantastic I mean and I know <laughs> what you mean about how long it takes to get and my brother's a documentary filmmaker oh. it takes so yeah. long to get things out so he'll, long. he'll tell me yeah. about a project he's working on and I'll say when, when's this coming out and he yeah. say oh yeah it's years later that these things happen that's right so well, that's uh, the joy with, with um, live action <coughs> is that because um, I was an animator I did an animated short once if i wanted to do something in animation it, that would take years but with these live action shorts we can get it done the shooting we can get done within a week or so a couple of weeks the pre uh, uh, you know development everything can take a few months and the post a few months so you can kick out a really nice film uh century was 40 minutes uh, you know and we did that with it all within a few months so and that's the beauty of live action the speed actually and I bet that you just you need to be creative from the kind of background you are. Where can yeah, you see this yeah. film then? Confines. Oh, uh, Confines. Well, we're actually um, uh, very locally. Hopefully soon. I hope they don't mind me mentioning. But um, I'm talking. I, I was contacted um, because of some news items on the film um, by the Parade Cinema in Marlborough. So they're looking at um, possibly doing a screening of it soon with a Q and A with the with the crew. So uh, very locally. Brilliant. Then. Please give these places a plug because I know yeah. there'll be people who want to yeah. go and see it. What else are you working yeah. on then? Have you got some things uh, up your sleeve? Yeah, well, because the features take a while. Um, actually, we, with Neil Basson, I've got a feature project, would you believe, based on my grandfather, who was a champion Cornish wrestler. Um, and um, <laughs> it's, it, he had an a, a, a match with Yukio Tani, who was a, a martial arts master at the London Palladium. So I've got a whole story and feature idea that we've been developing, and it's you know it sounds um, uh, you know quite quirky, but it's actually you know wrestling films do very well, uh, and any combat sport films do well. So there's a market for it, and we could obviously you know they, they even had mixed martial arts back then. They had this Cornish wrestler against a martial arts expert. So it's a fascinating story. So that's another that's. A, a, not a mega budget but you're still talking a couple million to do a feature like that funny you should mention martial arts I, I'm talking to Alki Brooks next week she's been doing martial arts wow. for 20 years 20 years she can do <laughs> Fantastic. So there's, there's, there's a film there. Well, thank yeah, you. So nice to, to meet you, Richard. Uh, Richard Baisley. Uh, keep us in touch um, with when absolutely. this film's going to be screened and we'll, we'll give it a mention. And I'd love to meet you again and we'll talk more about your career. Oh, I look forward to it. Fantastic. Thank you, Richard. Lovely to meet you. Richard Baisley. And look out for this film, Confines, which has won awards already and uh, I'm sure it will win many more as well. Right, it's just gone half past three.